In my opinion, this could be one of the most important slideshows for you to watch for your baby's health if you had a C-section or you or your baby had antibiotics. My name is Christian Bates and I have been helping upset irritable, colicky, not sleeping babies for 18 years in the Hayward Teeth area. My two top causes of a colicky, windy, upset baby are exposure to antibiotics and after a C-section delivery. But it's actually much, much more important than just the cause of the problems you might have now, although I know how hard that can be. Let me tell you why the information I'm going to share with you is absolutely vital to the health of your baby. It's so, so important because it's linked to the future health of your baby. You will not have been told this by anyone, but it's a scientific fact. The reality is more and more babies are being exposed to antibiotics close to birth and more and more mothers are having C-section deliveries. Yet I have not seen a single mum who has been told how to lessen the side effects of the antibiotics or C-section, let alone protect the future health of their baby. I want to tell you more about why you must know this and how you can help your baby. But first, let me give you a very simple introduction to the health of your baby's tummy. We all have trillions of bacteria in our gut, both good and bad. On simple terms, you want your baby to have a healthy balance, basically more good than bad. However, antibiotics kill the bad and the good. And a C-section stops the good from even developing in the first place. Babies pick up good bacteria from the birth canal, so in a C-section they miss out on this completely. Having more bad than good bacteria in the gut causes problems. Colic for one. But what I'm now going to tell you is possibly even more important and incredible. Changes in the good v bad bacteria balance in your baby's bowel profoundly affects their future health. Scientific research has proven that antibiotics and C-section change your baby's gut bacteria. It has also proven that a change in gut bacteria like this causes future health issues for your baby, including food allergies, eczema, asthma, immune system problems, and even obesity. I'm not here to say you shouldn't have had your antibiotics or a C-section, but have you ever been told that you can do something to help afterwards? I doubt it. In fact, you're probably told antibiotics don't even pass through your breast milk to your baby. This simply isn't true. They do, and research has proven that too. So on to the good news. A simple yet specialist friendly probiotic supplement given to your baby can correct the good v's bad balance of gut bacteria, both safely and effectively. Right now, it will help them if they are colicky. And in the future, it may help them against the other issues I've just mentioned. I personally use, use a probiotic called Biogai Protectus for my baby patients. It's super easy to use as it's drops. Five drops once per day in the formula feed, or if you're a breastfeeding mother, you take five drops once per day and this passes the friendly bacteria through your breast milk. That's it. At the moment, this is the best way known to protect your baby's gut health after antibiotics or C-section. Biogai Protectus costs only $17.99, including postage and packaging. But I also want to offer you a free gift valued at $9.99 that will help your health too. A nutritional guide for new mums based on my research into new mums diets. And new mums eat really poorly. This is a really, really valuable ebook for you to learn how to improve your health and the health of your baby if you're breastfeeding. Simply purchase Biogai Protectus from the link with this video and the PDF will be sent to you automatically for free. And look out for a special offer on my 90 page book, Calm and Colic, when you check out. Thanks very much for listening. I really hope this helps you and your baby and feel free to email me any feedback or questions on the Perimount, uh, sorry, Christian at theperimount.com.